Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and a weather station and it comes from, if you're in Australia, it comes from Inglewood. I think they sell these in, in England and other countries as well. We're going to try and hook this to Home Assistant. So let's get started. I'm going to say straight away, nicely packed into a nice container. one-handed style looks very similar to what you'd get at Bunnings but hundred dollars cheaper hundred dollars cheaper guys why wouldn't you buy this if it's hundred dollars cheaper manual and it's a meteorology station it's the YT 60 23 4 it looks pretty good now the plastic let's have a quick look what's this plastic like um, it looks I don't know whether it's weatherproof over time we'll work that out it looks pretty much clean but whether it's going to and there's your water filler so there should be a cover for that it's in here somewhere um, you've got a solar panel to charge the system up you've got a wind vane operation there and another directional over here it's not put together like the ones you get in the shops but for a little bit less uh, manual work you get to put it together yourself a round bit in there to put that on sorry about my yucky thumb um, jammed it in a door or something i think okay i've got a screw in here and it should fit onto here, but there's no flat bit on here. I don't know why they don't put flat bits on. Uh, I would have. And then you could just pop it on there and then screw it in. But they haven't done that, so you just got to screw it on. Um, I'll use that base to hold it on for the moment. Okay, just tighten, tighten that up. You'll need to pick it up and lock it in. Otherwise you won't find the center. And it's quite easy to put in there. Now we just have to take the cover off, fit it, and hook it up to weather un underground for Home Assistant. Okay, just take this cover off that's blanking it out to charge those batteries up. Oh, the feel of taking a plastic cover off, it's cool. Okay, so you've got to put some batteries in here for the display. They're double A's. I'm disappointed that they didn't use the 5 volt to make some sort of charging unit on the actual display to keep a backup power on it. Um, don't know why they would not think about that. I wouldn't would have paid some more extra money for it if they had that, but they didn't. So now I've got to try and find some double A or triple A batteries, which are getting a bit scarce around the house, to pop them in and uh, run the screen just the screen eh? runs the screen nothing else well the five volts actually runs your wi-fi and probably the um the 912 i think megahertz or the 433 megahertz connection to the and to the actual main unit anyway let's get into it So now we just got to hook it in. So once I plug the five volt power in, you get your Wi-Fi. Hold that down, I believe. And now it's in AP mode and I will be able to connect to it. Let's try that. Very frustrating, it is not coming up. It is still hooked up to it. And it comes up like that, no internet, unidentified network, that's fine. Okay, so I had to connect to this using my tablet as my phone would not connect to it and neither would my laptop. So my laptop wouldn't even do a manual adjustment. So that's a bit of a problem. So now I've got to set up the, the router, which that's not the right router. And then I've got to set up the weather underground. I need to set up a 
a station key and a station ID, so I'm going to have to log into there. And I've got to change this to plus 10, which is minus. We're going plus. Plus 10. And then it's looking for a timekeeper of uh, that one. I might actually grab one different to that. I like using that. Only because you used to work in that top of the field. And you just add your, whatever your router is here. Um, and then your password. So at the moment, it's not showing my proper internet either. Oh, there it is. So I can add that and then I can add all the rest of it in. Okay. And you'll need to tick off weather underground in this, this little corner over here or if you're going to use weather cloud use that one I'll probably use that one and then I've got to go and get one so you need to go to weather underground which is that site there google that and you'll get it and then you need to there's a login here but I need to set up a account okay if you're not using a one of the like the weather cloud, you don't tick that. If you're using it, you tick it and then put your station ID and your station key in. You set your time, uh, pick your server and then apply. It might take a little while for it to come on here. It's still not going, the wind speed's not working, but I think that's because I've got to tell Weather Underground to um, use this device. Bring the after doing all that and putting up the weather station, uh, I'm now online. I'm pretty happy with my station now. So yeah, all good. That's it for this video. And uh, if you liked it, please give me a thumbs up and hopefully on the next one, we'll hook it up to Home Assistant.